Okay guys, we're going to be looking at non-farm payroll. Let's roll the intro and I'll switch my charts on. And a warm welcome to one and all. I wasn't going to go to market today, not really. Just look and keep an half an eye. I'm trying to have Fridays off. But when you see something like that, it's like, ooh, well, what should we do? Well, if you drop it down into five minutes, we can see. So if I put on what's called a Kylie, so I'll look for the non farm retracement candle, which is here. Pull that down to there, all right? We can see that it shot up, locked in, and then has pushed up to the 38, collapsed and come back. Okay. What does this give us an opportunity? Well, now it's come down and failed at this level. I've got a good opportunity for it to come back up to the 50. Now, let's have a little look at this. So you go from there to there with an extension. And you've got another level down here. Okay, so I'm going to drop a couple of levels on. So there's the 23, 38 to the 50. Right, okay, sweetie. I'm going to switch these off now and I'm going to drop that level in as well where I can see it. Okay. So, what, what's this telling me at this moment in time? Well, it's actually telling me quite a bit. It's had a go to get to here and it's failed, which has shown downward pressure pushing down over. Okay. So if it's pushing down over and I switch on an indicator, I can have a look to see what kind of pressures is in. Now that's shown momentum's out. MACD is worse than useless. But the Bollinger Band is interesting because it's still showing pressure down over, but it's collapsed at the top. Look at 15 minutes, so I can see what's going on here. Now what can we see? Flare, flare. It's flaring to the downside. So look at the hourly, what's happening here. Flare, flare, downside. Failed the 50%, I think this is going to push further down. Um, I did a, an analysis earlier on, on a euro, and I had it as a sell. Now, this could well be the same. So, what I can do is I can sell these levels, and sell this level, this level, to about here. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell it. And I'm going to sell it into... Um, the New York Open, fish, just like so, right? So I'm selling these levels, even though that's a bounce point, but what you gotta remember is, this is non-farm payroll today. So what does that mean? That means that we can smash through a level in a heartbeat, because there's lots of volume and various other bits and pieces within it. So we'll just set that for 12 pips. Why 12 pips? Well, it's because I was told that 12 pips doesn't pay. Well, I've got a funny feeling that it might. So, there we go. Job's done, sorted, cracking through the level is suspected. Having me coffee, because we all know Scruffy likes a coffee. And just sit back and let it get on with it. Now, what I'm doing here is kind of a follow-up to a little video I did in, in the squad. And you, you'll see it, it's on one of the Ask Scruffs. And it's about trade what you see. Well, what do we see here? Now, we actually see a fall off the cliff. Down it comes. And let me just switch something on because I'm watching something as well. Um, fall off the cliff. A failure to push back to the 50%. Therefore, that tells me that the sellers are in control of this market. 
And if the sellers are in control of this market, then therefore it's common sense it's going to push and break. Well, it has pushed and braked. It came up, failed, came back down to where it started, pushed through a gusto, buyers came in, failed to push it back to higher level, sellers are still there to push this down. So where's the first port of call it's going to push? It's going to push to the base of this sweep and then eventually into this, you know. So that would be like a 20 pip move in, into that level. So if you step that back slightly, you'd be able to see it. Now, I'm happy with 60 quid onwards. Why? Because that's 12 pips. I'm actually happy with 10. 10 is my bare minimum. Now, cable at the moment in time is... It hasn't been playing very nice. Liquidity is very low on it, so the ATRs are relatively low. So you're not really getting big amounts of money out of it. And I find it hard work. But on a non-farm payroll day, where you've got a lot of volume, a lot of eyes on it, it's watching the US dollar. The US dollar has needed some movement. That's come in, forcing this down, and now we're just gonna do what we see. I see it's pushed down. I see it's failed to make any form of retracement over the course of the last 30 minutes. Therefore, the premise is it's pushing down. Now, yes, my RSI might be pointing the other way. And this is one of the things with indicator trading. Just because the indicator says it's doing something, doesn't mean to say it's gospel. What you've got to remember is this kind of move here will throw any indicator out. It can't keep up with the speed of movement. And because it can't keep up, it won't be accurate. So what you do is you use them as a guide. And that's why I look at the Bollinger Band, because that shows the strength. And from there, make a logical choice. And the logical choice is it's going to attack these levels. And if it breaks through, it's going to come looking for this one. So here is a reasonable target. But I only want 12 pips because it's Friday afternoon. So I'm going to place it there. Simple as that. Let's run it out and I'll finish my coffee. Okay, boys and girls, job's done. Uh, it's got what I needed, 12 pips. And it's pushing down into the level that I kind of predicted. It's a very simple setup, very easy for this and as you see it's stalling pushing down if it keeps on running brilliant get on with it but i've got what i needed to get and it's just a compliment to what i did yesterday okay so nice and simple very very simple pros you. what did you just say <laughs> like simple you. process like me well there's anybody as thick as you <laughs> and i'm not buying that no, it's Rendell. Okay, you know. And is it you, Cassie? I'm, I, I didn't care. I want a new build, and I want it sort of nice. A new build? Well, not really a new build, but you know what I mean. One that I don't have to build anything on it. Uh, sorry. Um, she even got the land registry out to sell oh, our house. The solicitor gave me it. The solicitor gave me it because it's our documents for selling the house. We just finished doing the house. So Nuttery is starting to look for another one. And if you think I'm doing another wreck like this, you're kidding, right? <sighs> she, she, she gives me stress, boys and girls. I've got to go to doctors next week because apparently I have to slow down. Uh, and why have I got to slow down? Because I'm married to her. Fucking crazy cow. Don't blame me. Well, I'm blaming you. What? Well, there's no stress relief. Oh, God, she's getting the cream. What, what do you think I was talking about? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Lying bitch. <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, really, I just did that for Big Balls the Hobbit. Why? He didn't actually goad me today, but I know it would have been in the back of his mind. And I did see him in the Discord with his little laptop when he should be working in Wales. But he wasn't. He was watching the charts. So no doubt he'd be asking whether it was done. So I'd done it, as I always do. When I do non-farm payroll, I look at cable, 
keep an eye on it. I did an analysis this morning based based on the euro, uh, saying that it would push down. This isn't a million miles away, and I still had that thought in my mind. And euro and pound, the kind of link together. And normally, what happens to one happens to the other. And I like doing cable on non-farm payroll. So there it is. Happy days. Okay, kids. Catch you soon. Having the rest of the weekend off.